Here are our five favorite workshop items for week 64 in no particular order. First we have the Hell Razor set for Skeleton King created by Heraven. It comes with three items including an arm, crown, and blade. This set does a good job of hiding the low quality nature of Skeleton King, who I feel is in need of some polish. I really like the bright yellow nature and the fact that his sword is huge! Second is Bramblehorn, a mount from Marana, created by Kilgore O'Keefe, Don Don, and Zidrich. This mount is oddly nostalgic as it reminds me of something from the never ending story. At first glance, I was kind of taken aback a bit, but the more I look at it, the more I realize that this is a ridiculously high quality mount that needs to be in the game immediately. Next is the Bow Staff Skills Taunt for Bounty Hunter, created by Big Tuna. I hope the trend of seeing more taunts in the workshop continues, as this one is top notch. There's just something so satisfying about taunting your enemy, and of course it also sets up those hilarious moments where it ends up getting you killed. Fourth is the Cryptic Salvager set for Pudge, created by Dota FX. It comes with six items, including two arm pieces, an offhand weapon, new hook, back piece, and a new head that is covered by a sack. This is a very interesting pudge set that makes good use out of the rope theme. The mask, or sack as they have it, is also very cool and reminds me of Scarecrow from the newer Batman movies. Last but certainly not least is the A New Wrath set for Phantom Lancer created by Crown Tail and Robo. It comes with four items, including some bracers, a skirt, spear, and quite possibly the best mask of all time. I've seen some negative comments about this set and I seriously do not understand why. I for one will admit that I'm a sucker for ancient Egyptian lore, but isn't everyone? I think this is one of the best sets we've seen in a while, and certainly the highest quality Phantom Lancer one. By the way, PL does have items in the game, but still zero sets. I say let this be the first.